Hi, and welcome to the world premiere of the TBA Junior Youth Group's Hanukkah video program show celebration extravaganza. I am so glad that you are here. You know, this may be the fourth night of Hanukkah, but it's the very first time that the junior youth groups of Temple Birth Achim have invited the entire congregation to join us for an incredible evening of joyous Hanukkah fun. And one of the best things about it is that you don't have to be a junior youth grouper in order to stay and watch the show with us tonight. At the end of the show, I'll share with you some exciting news about incredible junior youth group plans for the coming months. And sorry in advance to all of you grown-ups out there, all of those activities will be just for the junior youth groupers. For now though, let's all enjoy our time together. Now, as I mentioned before, tonight is the fourth night of Hanukkah. Now, many of us have already lit our Hanukkah candles earlier this evening when we gathered right before this show started for our nightly congregational Hanukkah lighting. Toward the end of the show, I'm going to light the Hanukkah candles again. So if you haven't lit yours yet, then you can light them later with me when I light them too. I'll let you know when it's time. Meanwhile, we can't get to the end if we never get past the beginning. So let's get on with it. Now get ready to sing real loud and dance real crazy and enjoy some great stories. And I know the perfect people to help us. Let's welcome my friends, Judy and David. Hi, we're so excited to be here with you. And David, are you ready to celebrate Hanukkah? I am so ready. Are you ready, Judy? I am just about ready, but I need to sing some songs first. So sing this song with us. Can you get your hands clapping? Let's sing how great it is to be together. Hine ma tovu ma naim, shevet achim gam yachad. Hine ma tovu ma naim, shevet achim gam yachad. Oh, shevet achim gam yachad. Now two claps. La la la, la la la, la 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 la. La la la, la la la. La 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 Come on, come on everybody Clap your, your hands And say hello to all your friends Come on everybody We'll show you how We'll sing all together now Oh, all together now Two clap La 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 la, la 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 la. Rock and roll. He ne ma tovu ma naim, shevet achim gam yachad. He ne ma tovu ma naim, shevet achim gam yachad. Oh, shevet achim gam yachad. Sing it with us. La la la, come on. La la la, la 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 la. Just you. La 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 Two, three, four La 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 This, my friend, is a dreidel. And so is this. And so is this. But did you know that the word dreidel is actually a Yiddish word? Yiddish is kind of similar to Hebrew, but it's different enough to be its own language. So if dreidel is a Yiddish word, then who knows how to say dreidel in Hebrew? Anyone know? Go ahead, don't wait for me to call on you. Say it if you know it. Uh, I think I heard someone say sivivon. That's the Hebrew word for dreidel, sivivon. Now, the dreidel has a different Hebrew letter on each of its sides, and each of those letters stands for a different Hebrew word. The letters are Nun, Gimel, He, and Shin, and they stand for Nes, Gadol, Haya, Sham, which means a great miracle happened there. Well, someday, when you get to visit Israel, which is where the miracle happened, you'll see that our dreidels have one letter different from the dreidels in Israel. Dreidels in Israel say Nes, Gadol, Haya, Po, which means here, which is where the miracle happened, if you're in Israel. 
But our TBA trip to Israel isn't until next year. So we're just outside of Israel, and so our dreidels say, Nes Gadol Haya Sham. A great miracle happened there. And guess what? It's not just the miracle you might be thinking of. You know, the one with the oil that lasted for eight days? We're going to learn about another miracle that happened, one that we can help make happen every day, even today. But first, how can we talk about dreidels without singing my favorite dreidel song? I have a little dreidel. Let's sing! I have a little dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready My dreidel I shall play Oh, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel I made it out of clay And when it's dry and ready My dreidel I shall play It has a lovely body When it gets all tired, it drops and then I win. Oh, dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I shall play. My dreidel's always playful, it loves to dance and spin. A happy game of dreidel, come play now, let's begin. Judy, there are actually more words to dreidel. Mm -hmm. You know, we sang the whole song just now. No, 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 no. I don't think you know this special verse. Only some people know it. I happen to know it. I'm going to share it with you right now. Because like okay. <clears throat> I have a little dreidel. I made it out of locks. Tastes great on a bagel, but smells like dirty socks. Oh, oh dreidel, 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 I made it out of clay. And when it's dry and ready, my dreidel I shall play. <laughs> that was really funny, but David... I have a feeling that you made up the words to that silly verse. Maybe I did. You know what? I bet you could make up a silly drill verse, too. I wonder. was kind of silly. <laughs> okay, I have something else to show you. Do you know what this is called? Remember, you don't have to raise your hand or wait for me to call on you. Just say it if you know it. Oh, ooh, I think I heard a couple of answers that could be correct. I know I heard someone say menorah, and that's true. Menorah is one word that can be used to describe this thing. In fact, in Hebrew, the word menorah can be used to describe almost anything that gives off light. Any candle holder or any lamp in your home, for example, is technically a menorah. In the Bible, we read about a menorah with seven branches that can be found in every sanctuary, in every synagogue all around the world, even in ours. Next time you're able to visit our sanctuary in person, and I can hardly wait until that day, but the next time you do make it here, take a look up on the wall by the ark. Can you guess what you'll see? That's right, a menorah a seven-branched menorah. Two of them, in fact, one on either side of the ark. So that's one word for this thing. And another word I heard somebody say is Chanukia, and that's also correct. Chanukia is a very fancy word for a menorah that is specifically meant to be used on Hanukkah because it has nine branches, one for each of the eight days of Hanukkah, and the ninth candle is what we call the Shamas, the helper candle. It's the shamus that actually lights all of the other candles. Even lighting Hanukkah candles takes teamwork, all the candles working together, helping each other out. So knowing that a menorah is almost anything that gives off light, and a Hanukkah is a menorah that is specifically meant for Hanukkah, then that means that every Hanukkah 
is a menorah. However, not every menorah is a Hanukkah. So that may seem a bit confusing, but just know that when it comes to this thing that holds the Hanukkah candles, either word, menorah or Hanukkah, is correct. Well now, as I mentioned at the start of the show, some of you have already lit your Hanukkah when we gathered together on Zoom just before the show started to light our candles as one big extended congregational family. And as I also mentioned at the start of the show, I am also going to light the Hanukkah at the end of our program today. So if you've lit the candles already, just sit back, relax, and enjoy the glow. If you haven't lit your candles yet, you can get ready to light them later with me and make sure that whichever grown-up is enjoying the show with you will be able to get everything ready with you. Either way, please always be sure that there's a grown-up with you when candles are being lit. That's really important. So, tonight is the fourth night of Hanukkah, which means we need to have five candles. Four, because it's the fourth night, and then that extra candle, the one we talked about, the Shamas, which we'll use to light all of the other candles. You know, speaking of a Hanukkah, I bet Judy and David know a song about lighting the Hanukkah menorah. Take it away, Judy and David. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah. <laughs> bagel? bagel. <laughs> we have a dog, Bagel. Bagel loves to celebrate Hanukkah. Oh, hi, ba Bagel. Bagel is wearing sunglasses. Bagel? Bagel's a dog. He's not supposed to wear sunglasses. What's going on, Bagel? We were just thinking. You didn't like that song? Sing that song a little differently. We can do that. Hanukkah, Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah, oh Hanukkah come light the menorah. Let's have a party, we'll all dance the horror. Gather around the table, we'll give you a treat. Dreidels to play with and latkes to eat. And while we are playing, says that we must always remember that a great miracle happened there. Quiet, Julius. I'm trying to decide which letters to write on my top. Well, well what if we could write letters on your top to remind us that a great miracle happened there? <gasps> Julius, you're a genius. Oh, Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, come light the menorah. Woo, 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 woo. We'll all dance, dance the horror. horror. Gather around the table. We'll give you a treat. Dreadles to play with And like us to eat And while we are playing The candles are burning low One for each night They shed a sweet light To remind us of days long ago One for each night They shed a sweet light To remind us of days Remind us of days Remind us of days long ago brings us back in time by helping us to remember a very important story. It's a story about miracles and Maccabees, the story of our people fighting for the right to pray as Jews, and it's a story that Judy and David are going to help us tell right now. Ha! Oh, actually, uh, now's not a great time. We're having some technical difficulties. Wait, 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 wait. I see it says install the Hanukkah 57.81 Zoom update. I don't know how to do that. Oh, oh no, look, I can do that. Oh! Oh, look at that! That's, that's so cool! Yeah, everything's fine now, right? Um, David? Yeah? There's 
something strange going on with your head. What do you mean? Um, it kind of looks like a dreidel. A dreidel? <laughs> My head looks like a dreidel? Okay, I think we're gonna have to work on this. We'll get right back to you. I have a little dreidel. I spin it every year. What's best about my dreidel is, I bought my dreidel here. Okay, so it looks like Judy and David need some time to get their computer working. And I'm pretty sure Rabbi Lazar must be helping them because I can't find him anywhere. But that's not a problem. Nope, not a problem at all. I'm Zoe Bluestone, the president of Braddy, our congregation's senior youth group. And I can start telling you the story myself. Have you ever been to Israel? You know, if you go to Israel today, you can even pray any way you like. There are synagogues of all kinds, and Reform synagogues are not the only synagogues in Israel. In fact, synagogues aren't even, only, aren't even the only places in Israel where people pray. There are beautiful churches and beautiful mosques and other places where all kinds of people with different beliefs also pray. But a long time ago, it wasn't exactly the way it is today. A long time ago, things were very different. A mean king named Antiochus ruled over the land of Israel and wanted everyone to pray the same way he did. Oh, oh, uh, sorry to interrupt. Uh, you know what? You were doing such a great job at telling the story. It's just, uh, did you say the name Antiochus? Antiochus? Because, you know, ever since Judy installed that new Zoom update thing, um, there's actually been a guy in our waiting room with that exact same name. You know what? I think we should let him in. Oh, um, I don't know if that's such a good idea. I mean, I remember from the Hanukkah story, he's a pretty mean guy. But Judy, that was like 2,000 years ago. I think it's I, okay. I'm letting him in right I, now. Are you sure? No, David, wait! Hello, hello! appeared out of nowhere. I don't understand. I, I, who are you people? You are dressed very strangely, yes. Anyway, I am King Antiochus, king of everything, yes, yes. As a matter of fact, I'm a little angry too, because I hear there are Jews around celebrating some silly holiday. No, 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 no. That will not do, you see. Everyone must pray the way I pray. You must bow down to my idols. You must stop all this silly celebrating nonsense or else. Actually, we could just remove you, okay? Oh, yeah, I'll just remove him. Yeah. <gasps> that was so weird. How is that? I, so, somehow our Zoom update connected us to ancient Israel. <laughs> I think we better get back to celebrating Hanukkah. Well, Antiochus didn't want us to celebrate Hanukkah. I think what? he's going to get mad if we celebrate. Well, who cares what he thinks? We're not going to listen to him. We're going to play some dreidel. We are going to celebrate Hanukkah. Absolutely. You're right. We're not going to listen to Antiochus. Mm -hmm. I had a little dreidel. I made it out of chocolate. It tasted so delicious. Judy and David are right. We didn't listen to Antiochus. We kept celebrating and we kept praying as Jews. However, back in ancient Israel, we had to do it quietly. And sometimes we even had to do it in secret. We had to hide in caves of a town called Modi'in. But now we can make some noise. We can make a lot of noise. Whether we're singing, or dancing, or playing a game of dreidel, or even doing all of those things at the same time. So get up and dance. Come on, get up, stand up. It's time for Judy and David's dreidel game. Yes, it's time to sing the dreidel game. But first, we have to learn the dreidel game dance. So, turn to the side. We're going to make some letters. Put your hands up like this. Point your fingers this way. You just made a nun. Give me a nun! Give me a nun! That's it. Okay, now kick one leg up. And give me a gimmel! A gimmel? Okay, now hands like this. Lean down a little bit. Put the top over it. Give me a hay! And now arms 
out like this. You made a shin. Give me a shin. That's it. Put them all together, and what do you get? The dreidel game. Then nothing happens. Shin, you put one in. Hey, you take half and give all you win. It's, it's the dreidel game. so excited. That was just too much fun. Okay, so now, back to our story. There was one person who did stand up to Antiochus with a big, loud voice, even though he was an older man. His name was Matitya, or Mattathias. Uh, you're not gonna believe this, but I think he's here. Hello? Yeah, hold on, I'll let him Hello? Ha ha Hello? Hello? Yeah, oh, look at that. Well, anyway, hello, my name is Mattathias. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? I'm not happy. Look at that! Look at that ugly thing in the middle of our beautiful town! Yeah, the king put it there. Antiochus, and we call him uh, Antiochus. <laughs> Don't get me started. Anyway, listen, he wants us to bow down to that useless hunk of rock! He says it's God. It's a guy, it's not a god! We know what a god is, it's not that! Oh, I'm telling you, he's horrible. We're not gonna do it. No way, no how, never! But wait, doesn't Antiochus have a really big army? Yeah, yeah, Mattathias, I mean, your friends and your family, you're just farmers and scholars. I mean, you're not, you're not fighters. Oh, <laughs> look who knows so much about us. Listen, we may not be big. We may be small, but we have a big voice! You wouldn't understand. Oh, well, you know what? We actually do understand. Because we have a lot of friends that might be kind of small, but have very big voices. You know, we should show Mattathias how we can sing with big voices. Let's sing Sevivon. Oh, perfect! Do you know what a Sevivon is? It's a <coughs> dreidel, and it has letters on it. Nun, Gimel, Hey, Shen, which stand for Nes Gadol Haya Sham. A great miracle happened there. And when we spin the dreidel, the dreidel goes so, so, so. Spin, spin, spin. So you can spin too. Uh, let's hear you sing and let's see you spin. Sevivon, so, so, so. Hanukkah, Hukhakto. Hanukkah, Hukhakto. Hag simcha hula'am, nes gadol hayasham, nes gadol hayasham, hag simcha hula'am. 
faster. Send me bon, sub sub sub. I made it out of glue. Lydia tried to spin it. Now she is spinning too. Manitias and his family and friends did have a big voice, just like me and just like all of you. My name is Rachel and I'm a member of Brady, the Temple Brithachim senior youth group. With our midnight run to help the homeless and our high holy day food drive to feed the hungry, we raise our voices whenever we can. As for Mattathias and his family and friends, well, we learned that from them. They weren't shy. They raised their voice for freedom. And they had a secret weapon. Matthias' son, Judah. Judah was so mighty and so strong, they called him Judah the Hammer otherwise known as Judah Maccabee. Oh, this is strange. I've got a Judy Maccabee in the waiting room. Wait, Judy Maccabee? That's what no, it no, says. I thought it was supposed to be Judah Maccabee, not like, you know, Judah Maccabee, not I, Judy Maccabee. I don't know. I'm going to let her in. Um, excuse me. Uh, she looks kind of familiar. <laughs> really? I don't see it. Okay, it's Judah Maccabee. Judy's just my nickname. We'll go with it. But look, I'm not afraid of Antiochus. No way. You know what? There might just be a handful of us, and he's got a huge army, but there's one big difference. We're fighting for something we believe in, and when you do that, anything is possible. Well, anything is possible if you start with a little Maccabee training. Oh, we can help with that. We have the perfect song for Maccabee training. Okay, follow me. Start by sitting down like this. Stand up like a proud Maccabee. Hold your shield against your chest. Then, then like, like a dreidel, dreidel spin round. Good. Then, then like a menorah, show your flame. Let's see your flame. Till, Till the candles, candles all burn down. down. That's the whole thing. Let's try it again. Stand up like a proud Maccabee. Then like a dreidel spin round. Then like a menorah show your flame. Till the candles all burn faster. Stand up like a proud Maccabee. Then like a dreidel spin round. Then like a menorah show your flame. Till the candles all burn faster. Stand up like a proud Maccabee. Then like a dreidel spin round. Then like a menorah show your flame. Till the candles all burn down. And when it's dry and ready, the, the dogs have already, already taken a nibble. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> did you stand up like a proud Maccabee? The Jews in our story certainly did. They stood up to the mighty Antiochus, and the first miracle of Hanukkah happened. A small bunch of Jews won their freedom against a huge army. They didn't have to bow down to Antiochus's idols. They could live as they wanted. They could pray as they wanted. It was a happy day. But it was mixed with some sadness when they discovered what Antiochus had done to their temple. Oh, did you see this mess? Oh my goodness, we have got to clean this place up. There's idols everywhere. Yanko! Y yes, 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 yes. Look at this mess of our temple. We've got to clean it all up. And, and you know what? There's been so much darkness lately. We have to light our nair to need. Wow, yeah, Get some um, light actually, in uh, here. Judah, about that. <laughs> you see, it. Well, Antiochus's army destroyed everything. We, we couldn't find any oil, just a tiny bit, just enough to last one day. <sighs> and it's going to take eight more days to make more oil. You know what, Yonko? We've seen so many miracles lately. I feel that maybe we might see some more miracles. Just like the oil that we have, and let's see what happens. After all the fighting, and after all the sorrow, the glow of the flame warmed their hearts, 
And sure enough, another miracle happened. The lamp stayed lit for eight days, just long enough to make more oil. The glow of the lamp was a sign. It was a sign that all was well in their world again. I want you to learn along with me this really important lesson from the Hanukkah story. And this is the lesson. Even when we think that our voices are small, even when we think that our voices are unimportant, even when we think that no one will be able to hear us or even want to pay attention to us, no matter how loudly we scream and shout, every person's voice is important. My voice is important. Your voice is important. We remember the Hanukkah story, and we remember this very important lesson from the Hanukkah story. Every time we raise our voices for what is right, and every time we stand up for what we believe in, with our voices and our actions, we can help make little miracles happen every day. And of course, we also remember the Hanukkah story when we light the Hanukkah candles, one by one. And you can help us light the candles. Hold your candles behind your back and we'll light them one by one. And now it's time for us to light our Hanukkah menorahs, our Hanukkiot. Please remember, never ever light a candle or any kind of fire without a grown-up there to do it with you, or more often than not, to do it for you. Safety is the most important lesson of all. 
Now, as we've mentioned a few times already, some of you have already lit your Hanukkah candles earlier this evening when we all gathered together for our congregational Hanukkah lighting on Zoom, as we have done for the past three nights and as we will do for the next four nights. Every night of Hanukkah this year, we have the opportunity to light our Hanukkah candles together with everyone else in the congregation, all at the same time. So, if you have not yet lit your candles this evening, perhaps there's a grown-up nearby who can set up your Hanukkah for lighting the candles on this fourth night of Hanukkah. If you have already lit your candles, or if you don't have a Hanukkah of your own to light in the first place, that's okay. You and everybody else can still see the candles that I'm about to light, and you can still see them glow, and maybe, just maybe, you can also feel their warmth inside your own heart. Now, people ask me all the time, which way do the candles go? <laughs> and for a long, long time, I couldn't remember myself. But here's a little trick to help you remember, the same trick that I learned when I was your age, or maybe just a little bit older. You put them in in Hebrew, starting from the right and going toward the left, adding one more candle each night as you go, and then you light them in English, starting from the left, lighting the newest candle first, and then heading toward the right. If you ever get confused, just remember that between Hebrew and English, Hebrew was around first. So Hebrew comes first. You put them in in Hebrew, and you light them in English. But Jews all over the world are celebrating Hanukkah tonight, just like we are. They're singing songs, just like we did. They're telling stories, just like we did. And they're playing games, just like we did. And they're saying the blessings for lighting the Hanukkah candles, just like we're about to do right now. As we say the blessings, we remember always the Hanukkah story, and we remember always the lessons from that story. We remember how important it is to raise our voices for what is right. Even the smallest voices joined together can make a sound that no one can ignore, a beautifully powerful sound that can change the world. Are you ready to light the candles? Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu lahat ligner shel Hanukkah. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Sheasa nisim lavoteinu, Bayamim haim bazman hazeh. Beautiful. Now, if this were the first night of Hanukkah, just like on the first night of any holiday, we would say Shehechianu also, thanking God for causing us to be alive, keeping us alive, and for bringing all of us together for this special night. So, our candles are lit. Our stories have been told, songs have been sung, but I think there might be one song left. We have this song called Ma'os Tzor. It's a very old song. The words are about 800 years old, but it has a message that is still so important for us today. It reminds us to give thanks that for every time a mean Antiochus, or someone like him, came along and tried to stop us from being Jews and living Jewish lives, we kept going. So let's give thanks for our strong, beautiful Jewish people that keeps on going for songs, for dances, for vodkas and dreidels, for menorahs and Maccabees and miracles, for me and for you. Ma'os Tzor. Hello. I would like to publicly state that I am very, very sorry, and even though that's not really how the story goes, uh, well, I just wanted to be in the finale with all the people singing together at the same time. <laughs> Thank you. Rock of ages, let our song praise your saving. Shelter. 
furious they assailed us. I am so, so sorry. But your armor veiled us. And your word broke the sword. When our own strength failed us. And your word broke the sword. So great to be with you, Chag Sameach. Which means happy holiday or happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah! Wow, everything about this evening was just great. This air popping toy that looks like a dreidel, great. Judy and David, great. Hanukkah, great. All of our junior youth groups and Braddy, our senior youth group as well, you're all great too. And you are great. And all of us celebrating Hanukkah tonight together? Well, that's just the greatest of all. Judy and David will be back to visit us again at Purim. But between now and then, there are lots of opportunities in place for us to get together. So be on the lookout for our information about our online scavenger hunt and our wildlife safari in Africa and our visit to a petting zoo in Australia. Or it could be Ireland. I keep on getting those two places confused. Well, either way, you do not want to miss out on all of the exciting junior youth group activities that are being planned for the coming months. And of course, depending upon how old you are, don't forget about Tat Shabbat every month and Shabbat Family Services every month and Story Time with me every week. That's right, every Monday night. In fact, tomorrow night, the entire congregation is invited to join us again for an evening of wonderful Hanukkah stories. We'll begin at a special time, 7 o'clock p.m., when we'll gather for our nightly congregational Hanukkah lighting, and then anyone who wants to stay for a while will have the opportunity to share in some of my personal favorite Hanukkah stories. If you have a favorite Hanukkah story that you think I ought to include tomorrow night, it's not too late to make a suggestion. I can't promise that I'll be able to include every story that gets suggested, but I promise to try. Anyway, just send me an email message. For now though, please stick around for the credits where you'll find the names of everyone who helped make this program possible and you may even find a surprise and an extra laugh or two along the way. Most importantly though, once again, thank you for sharing this evening with me and our entire extended congregational family. Chag Urim Sameach, I wish you a bright and joyous Hanukkah.